Uh, hello, viewers. I'm Dr. Shantanu Panja. I'm Sergeant BNK and Head and Neck Office Surgeon attached to the Polo Clinical Hospital. Uh, today, I will be talking about uh, voice disorder, which is uh, a very important uh, aspect uh, of our day to day life. Voice is a very important part of our overall persona, as we know. And uh, if somebody has any kind of voice disorders, it is uh, a major handicap. Because uh, voice is not only an aspect of our expression, it is uh, an important portal of communication. And uh, in these days, communication is very important. And we have a huge bulk of patients who are considered to be professional voice in the know, People from different walks of life, like singers, like actors, like lawyers, like school teachers, sales and marketing person, uh, politicians, so uh, it is very important for us and uh, it enhances our personality if you have a good voice and if you have a good quality of voice it can act as a handicap. In medical literature uh, there are about more than 300 types of voice disorders which are described and we often encounter these problems in our day to day practice. Any patient if uh, somebody is having a hoarseness of voice which is uh, not resolving with regular medication. Say most of the times we catch a cold and our voice goes down. And usually they are treated with medicines and steam inhalation and voice rest. But if a voice disorder or the hoarseness uh, or dampening of voice it doesn't improve with three to four weeks of medication, you should definitely consult a specialist. So when such a patient comes to us, what we do first is that. Uh, we do a fiber optic laryngoscopy or we have given advanced techniques of diagnosing that is called a stroboscopy. We see the voice quality, uh, we have got voice analysis software as well. We see the movement and the condition of the vocal cord under camera and we diagnose the problem. Now there are different types of conditions with which the patients can have hoarseness of voice. Uh, there can be benign condition like non-cancerous condition or in certain cases it can be uh, you know some kind of a vocal cord cancer or the signs of a vocal cord cancer. So there can be small nodules, small polyps or in some cases there can be vocal cord paralysis. In some cases there can be different kind of uh, viral infections like papilloma or simple infection which leads to water accumulation within the vocal cord. Rarely we find conditions like uh, leukoplakia, erythroplakia, which are actually precancerous conditions, more often found in smokers and people who consume alcohol. Many a times those conditions uh, often lead to vocal cord cancer and there are many patients who comes to us with certain irregular mass on the vocal cord which are actually early vocal cord cancer. So there are different kind of possibilities. So it is very important that we see the vocal cord with a camera to diagnose what exactly is the problem. Depending on the problem, there are different kind of treatment modalities. If it is a simple viral laryngitis, then it can be treated with uh, medicines and conservative treatment. But for example, if there is a big vocal cord poly or a vocal cord module, uh, they have to be removed by a surgery which is called a microdiagonal surgery. It is done endoscopically without any external cut and the patient hardly remains in the hospital for 24 hours. In our center we do it with a very advanced technique which is called uh, a CO2 laser surgery and uh, we have been one of the pioneer centers in Eastern India and probably have the largest series of laser surgery in this part of the country. We have a large number of patients whom we have treated with CO2 laser and removed the vocal cord cancer by cutting uh, that portion of the disease with a CO2 laser beam. It has a very high success rate in case of early vocal cord cancer, almost 95% success rate. That means 9 out of 10 patients, they get completely cured with only laser surgery without requirement of any kind of radiation or chemo. It can again be repeated if required in subsequent settings. So uh, it's a great advantage and uh, the people in this part of the country and different uh, other patients who come from other parts of the country and abroad to us are really 